Yo, imagine this. Imagine taking random snapshots of your life, like freeze frames, just still frames of your life randomly, like this. That's crazy. Now imagine if all of these freeze frames, these little still shots of your life, were connected, like making a long ass snail trail of yourself, you know, like this. Well, if you're still with me, right? Now imagine this long ass snail trail of you that's made up of all these individual moments of your life being all connected starting from when you were born all the way to right now watching this video. That's a long ass snail trail of you, you know what I'm saying? Driving in the car, still connected. Flying in the plane, still connected. 20 years, 30 years of this. It's a long ass snail trail of you because it's all connected. This is what the fourth dimension would look like if you could see it. But this is also some deep shit. Yo, what's good? So let's go ahead and get into this fourth dimensional thing. So as we should know by now, man, the fourth dimension is what we call space and time. We should know that by now, but just in case we don't, it's space time, all right? But um, the fourth dimension, like a lot of other things or a lot of other principles in the universe, is um, is... is only perceived when um, it comes in contact with matter. So let's just take light for example. Light are, are just light photons, but when it touches matter, then it becomes visible light. Um, sound is just vibration, but once it hits something, uh, some type of matter or material, it becomes sound. Well, the fourth dimension is no different than that. Um, the fourth dimension is just space um, without any contact with matter, but once it contacts matter, it becomes time, i.e. you, me, i.e. the planets and stars. Um, uh, once it comes in contact with the fourth dimension, this creates um, perceptions or different levels of time. Now, a lot of people will, will say that, you know, it's hard to uh, visualize time but it's quite simple because you could think about something that happened yesterday that is the past that is something that has happened before um, in your snail trail remember the snail trail I talked about earlier that's something that happened in the perception of the past of your snail trail um, but here's the thing your snail trail will happen in the future um, just as well as you are sitting here right now in the present um, you can tap into the things that um, happen in the future uh, just as easy as you can remember the past it's uh, and a tangible example of this is what we call deja vu um, for those people who like to say the topics like this are pseudoscience because you can't prove it in a, in a, in a book or religious text and there's no uh, 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 show and proving and there's no uh, documentation and all the shit that people like to debate about um, I would just say rely about uh, rely upon yourself okay if if by this time you being a person have not experienced deja vu I really feel sorry for you but for those who have experienced uh, what we want to call deja vu this is an experience this is an example of how you can tap into uh, looking forward in the fourth dimension as many of us have because it's, it's just a glimpse into the future and you don't really know it until you go through um, the present moment it's a big long snail trail that we could tap into because it's all it's all mental um, the way that you really really feel it is through emotions Okay. And another tangible example of how uh, the fourth dimension can be perceived uh, uh, in matter is, you know, 
and ladies, you're going to dig this. This is for y'all, okay? Um, and fellas, I'm going to put you up on game. Um, if you've ever uh, cheated uh, and been... Uh, in been uh, a part of infidelity I would say and your lady caught you she had a feeling you know how she had that feeling the fourth dimension gave her that goddamn feeling okay um, because just like how I gave you the example that no matter where you go you you're a snail trail you're leaving a snail trail of yourself you know what I'm saying because you're just a big blob of yourself that has been everywhere in the fourth dimension so when you're being you know intimate with another person you have left uh your snail trail imprint in that moment which still exists because you are in the fourth it's a fourth dimensional concept and construct okay um so and you've been with that person and whoever they've left a trail with and so on and so forth this is why it's very important to understand how sacred uh, sex is and love making is with a partner um, because you are interacting with a lot of snail trails all right all right okay so and this is also how bacteria can creep inside of the aura field of the fourth dimension in the form of succubuses and incubuses to uh, make their way through this uh, aura aura field biometric matrix if you will okay so be very very careful who you sleep with all right but this is but this is what I'm saying the whole point is the reason why your lady even knows is because she has a sacred bond with you um, and you guys connection on the fourth dimension so when you veer off she can she can feel that like a spidey sense because women are more um, they're more in tune with their with their emotions excuse me and emotions um bring forth in, intuition okay so the stronger your emotions the more intuition you have access to um you know what i mean so that's how she can pick up on on that it's it's a very uh, fourth dimension now hey listen maybe you haven't got caught all right hey i have okay hey i'm a human being <laughs> okay uh, this is how I found it out and like I said this is just tangible examples for the people who want to yell out everything is pseudo you know what I mean all right so uh, with that being said there's another example uh, that you can that you may or may not have experienced in this when you know you have a, tra a traumatic experience to war maybe you almost died you almost crashed in the car or you won't you were in a car crash or um, or whatever the case may be um, if you ever heard the saying my whole life flashed before my eyes that's because you that traumatic experience of fear uh, fear and love uh, triggers a lot of supernatural abilities or heightened senses a lot so when you're afraid you can run fast you know what I'm saying shit like that so that that fear of almost dying or knowing that you are about to die gives you the insight to make that flash look back at your whole snail trail and it happens just like that that quick because remember time is a, is a very perceived thing it's based off of perception so um, your whole life of 30 40 50 years no matter how old you were whenever you had a, a traumatic experience and, you, and your whole life flashed in front of your eyes that's how long it actually takes to, for this shit to happen because you just looked at everything that quick you just looked at it all that quick you know um, but this is another tangible example of how the fourth dimension does exist and you can perceive it um, it is very possible and it is very very deep so with that being said I'm gonna close this video down and remember keep them third eyes open matter of fact <laughs> balance your chakras and keep them third eyes open and I'm out